Well, today we are out at a new construction site in Southeast Mesa. We call it the Signal Butte Water Treatment Plant. It's one of the largest projects the city has ever undertaken. And joining me today is Jake West. Jake is the Director of Water Resources for the city. So Jake, what in the world are you building out here? Well, Chris, what we're doing out here at the corner of Signal Butte and Elliott Roads, we've got an active construction site going on that we're uh, building a 24 million gallon water treatment plant facility here, which we, as you alluded to, is the Signal Butte Water Treatment Plant. So water treatment plant. So today we're in Southeast Mesa. So yeah. today, where do the residents and businesses that are in this area, where do they get their water from now? Currently, they're receiving um, Central Arizona Project water that we have at our Brown Road Water Treatment Plant up at the north end of the city of Mesa at Brown Road, just east of Power Road. That water is pushed down through a number of pipes and buried infrastructure that brings it down here. We also have roughly about 12 to 13 uh, groundwater wells that help supplant the plant uh, the, to be able to treat the water for the residents and to meet the demand here in southeast okay, Mesa. So that's important to know. This is a fast-growing part of Mesa, Southeast Mesa is, with Eastmark. We have Apple down here, a lot of other businesses that are moving into this area. Today, in order to provide the water for them, literally from Northeast Mesa, that water has to be pushed all the way down here. Now, the water treatment plant is strategically located here at Elliott and Signal Butte. Tell us where we're getting the water from. So well, about four or five years ago, the city put a project together and we got approval with Central Arizona Project to build a turnout structure about three miles west of us here at the canal. So we're currently building a 54 inch pipeline that's gonna take the water from that turnout structure and bring it to this plant where it then will be treated, put in the reservoir and pushed out to the system to, to make up for the water that um, they were getting from Brown Road from so far away. Well, okay. so. Really important to understand is that the city of Mesa gets its water from a variety of different resources, sources. And a matter of fact, you can go to the city's recently published water consumer confidence report. Consumer confidence report, which does a really good job of talking about if you know where, if you can identify where part of the Mesa you live in, it shows you where the water's coming from, right? A Correct. It, it'll area. tell you based on what zone you're living in, what your pressure should be, what water sources are being fed. So we've got, we've got many flavors of water. You've got our salt river water, which is surface water. You've got our cap water, which is surface water. And then of course our groundwater wells in both the city proper in the city system and in the eastern zone. Yeah, so it's important to note this treatment plan is an important part of our overall distribution of water. Our water resources is taking some of our allocation off the canals that are further to the east of this location and treating that CAP water. So that's the water that's coming clear out of the Colorado River, clear on the far western edge of Arizona. And we're taking our allocation, treating it, and then distributing it here very efficiently here in Mesa. So, um, you told us how many, uh, how, what's the capacity of this first phase? Yeah. The initial phase is going to be 24 million gallons a day capacity to be able to serve the southeast. But it, the plant is currently designed to be expand, have a future expansion for another 24. So a total build out is going to be a 48 MGD plant. Okay, so that's important to know. Not only are we trying to meet the needs of today and the growth of Southeast Mesa, but we are also have the capacity to grow this plant. Uh, to expand as the growth in Southeast Mesa, both residential and commercial continues to grow. Um, so Jake, just kind of as we wrap up, talk to us a little bit about um, as we bring the, this water in and we distribute it uh, throughout this area, um, what other things do you see kind of, I mean, this plant is close to some neighborhoods. What should they see kind of around the plant? What do they expect to see? What is this plant gonna look like? Okay. Well, this is the, the administration building behind us. That's the structures are going to be inside. Outside the walls, we're going to have some, some paths, some walking paths. Okay. I think there's a future park in design or right. in, in consideration. But there will be some uh, foliage and shade trees and you know a path where people can kind of walk around. Nice buffer. And, so yes. it'll look nice. And then I guess final question is a lot of construction going on here. Currently, what's the anticipated completion date? So we are on target to hit our goal of May 2018 to be providing water into the system. Now, there may be some ongoing construction activities right. while that's going on, but that's our drop dead line date to get the water so in the system. So a year from today, yeah. uh, from where we stand today, uh, the plant will be completed. 
and we'll be able to continue, be able to provide water from this plant to the to the area here. Yes. All right, Jake, thanks for joining us. This is a great project, an important part of Mesa's uh, water system as we deliver water to Southeast Mesa.